and thank you for coming to watch the second part of this two-part episode of Minecraft Amplified World. Very, very cool. Now, last episode, we were trying to survive. Well, how much longer do we survive? Let's check it out and see in this episode. With my SSD hard drive crash. What I still need to do, I have not done yet, is I need to start backing up is there, like, a thing that's inside? I must be close to a cave that's real close to my home? Okay. Well, we, we will come check out inside here soon. I'm just trying to light-proof, the spawn-proof my, my living area around here. Until I you know, make a home out here. This has to be safe. And then I need to find some sheep so I can make a bed. I can't just count on, you know, mining every time I'm tired. Okay, no. first, first, we do have water here. I'm going to grab more dirt, and then we're going to get seeds, and then we're going to plant some stuff right there in that water. I'm not, well, I mean, I'm kind of trying to maintain the natural beauty of the area without worrying too much about maintaining the natural beauty of the landscape, because, you know, I need to survive, too. So, and there's piggies. I like that. Oh, almost fell. Good. Okay. Okay. I am trying to make this into a nice square. So let's see. And then we'll put our stuff in. And then once we've got like a fair amount of this farm stuff done, I have to, you know, get survival actually not guaranteed but more guaranteed than what we have right now. And that will allow us to have time to do the non-survival related stuff. The only reason I haven't freaked out about making all this stuff at first is because of all of the animals around there. That's very handy, checking the time here. We had a because I have house mice and we rent from a rental company, today we had a rental company walkthrough. Which is perfectly fine, you know, it's just something that you do. You, you have walkthroughs periodically, and so we did that. But, but <laughs> this thing defies me. I get anxious over breaks in my routine extremely easily, and uh, I was, my routine was, of course, kind of upset. So if I have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this needs to be eight, nine. I need to make it two more over. So. Because if water travels eight, can go four, I might have to do another one. If water can travel four squares, then that means I can make my water, I can speak English, I promise you. It does not seem like it, I know, but I can. It, it, it is actually true. Okay, and I gotta make a bucket so I can do that. That's fine. Okay, so it's like I put a string of water here, strip of water, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which means we have to take this over. Because we have to do, oh, just one more for this. <sighs> Faster or slower? I don't care right now. 
I've seen people even use swords to get through this stuff quick. I don't want to take the time to stop and go back and get a shovel. I will waste this stuff because I just want to get it done. <laughs> I'm very sorry if this, you know, kind of quote unquote triggers people, but that's where we are right now. So that's okay. So here we are. The idea being you have a strip of water here and then you have a strip of water here and then you have, you know, a line of one, two, three, four. And then you see from this side, one, two, three, four. And then it just fills all the way up. I'm not gonna be able to do that entirely thing because I still need to grab water from a full complete source so I can fill these spots that have not worked properly. But until that time, I can do a little bit, like right here. And, and as long as I at least get this started. Hello cow. Am I gonna, I'm gonna have to make a fence or do the cows and other critters destroy these things? I cannot remember to save my life. So we'll start with up here. Let's just gather up seeds. And of course, thank you very, very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. I enjoy playing games a whole ton. And while I know not a lot of people watch, I get, if I'm usually lucky, if I, for a Minecraft video, I'm lucky if I break 300 views. That's pretty good. Any other non-Minecraft video, I'm usually lucky if I break 200 views. So it's not like I have a huge audience of people out there. What I'm saying is anybody who does watch, anybody at all, the watches for any reason in the slider. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. I mean, I'm, I'm an older fella. I'm low key. I'm not high energy. You know, I, I am, I play games actually pretty straight. I don't play them to, to, to break them or to laugh at them. I, even games that I go in trying to, to mock, I usually end up trying to play straight. So I'm, I am no Call Me Kevin or RT Game or Markiplier. I am just a, just a guy. And I started up my channel at first because my kids were always talking about YouTube stuff and watching YouTube channels, and I wanted to do a, a YouTube thing just for giggles. And so I started off doing the Bethesda game Arena play through. Did a walk through, not walk through, a let's play of 12 episodes of that and then satisfied my curiosity and so stopped. And then unfortunately my wife got sicker and sicker and then she stopped living. And I needed something to hook on to to get me out of my head because I was coming apart quickly in not a good way and I needed something to get me out of my head and so I started doing YouTube and I thank each and every one of you that watches because I am still alive and that is a very very good thing okay, that would go there too because yes because it was starting to get dark, right? Was it? Why didn't I chop down any trees? Now I don't have any extra wood. That's all right, that's all right. We're, we're fine. Because there's this, we can sit. Of course, of course, okay. Just for giggles, you know what? Even though I didn't grab any extra wood, what do I do with my fish? Okay. Okay. We're gonna make some more torches. We're gonna use some wood to do that. 
we're gonna put some of that stuff away because I don't need quite that much dirt just to build with. I mean, there. So we're gonna make logs so we can make more sticks. There's no more wood. That's life. That's life. That's life. It's it's fine. It's good. You know, boom. And then we turn those into sticks. Boom. 29 sticks. That's fine. We take six of those. Boom. We got a lot of torches. That's fine. We need what? Shovel there? So let's make a couple shovels. You know, let's make three of them. And then let's make, you know, what the hell? We'll make another. That didn't work out right. There we go. And. You know what? We make another one of those. How about that? We'll, we'll even, because we might need it, make another axe because we need more wood. So we'll just chop down a lot of that stuff. So we'll go like this now. We're good. So let's put a lot of this stuff up here because we don't actually need to carry all this. All right, put that away. Good. All right. All right. Let's see if we go all the way through and if we do, where we come out. I mean, eventually it will come out the other side. I was, like I said, just betting that we'd come up fairly higher. I mean, if I'm low enough, I would eventually go underneath that quote unquote mesa slash plaza area and would just come out on the other side. I mean, so it's. There's an, uh, another side eventually, no matter what happens. So. It's, ooh. Yeah, there we are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's kind of neat. So that's where we come out. I'm not going to go out there. There are bad things. I didn't gather up any more food, which is fine. Okay, things would, they can fall in if they walk up here but they wouldn't be able to walk in because of that. So that's good. That is good. I'm actually pretty pleased. That was very, very awesome. Very, very cool. Ooh. Ooh, spider eyes. Okay, very good. So here we are. We know where it's gonna come out. We're gonna be able to go and check on that. We know above us there's all sorts of stuff. Like that thin the sheet of rock. <laughs> I had difficulty speaking. Now we did, if you'll remember, hear that sort of spider noise over this way. I need iron and stuff, and you never know what you're going to find. So let's meander gently. Oh, look at that. Coal. I was going to say comet, but that's not a comet that is coal it is in the ground it's not like in the sky being whipped around by gravity and all that so I think this is another reason too why it's just a good idea to dig randomly in the ground <laughs> and then go exploring and without telling anyone that you're doing so do not do that spelunking i mean quite seriously and honestly if the spelunking is dangerous. If you ever do it, try not to go alone. If you are alone, make sure people know where you are. Tell them before you go. Keep them in contact. One of the reasons I say that is I cannot remember how long ago this happened. It, it could have well been like a uh, hundred years ago, but Aside from the difference in like communication technology, life a hundred years ago really wasn't all that different from life right now. And there was this one fellow who liked to go out just going exploring in caves. And he got stuck underground. And they couldn't get him out. And he starved to death, stuck under the ground because they couldn't get him. So be careful. If you're going to go with spelunking, be smart. I mean, it can be cool. If you're not claustrophobic, it can be very, very cool. So, 
I'm not going to say that it's not. But just like with anything, be smart first and foremost. Okay, just doing a cloud check. Okay, I'm going to, because, oh, my nose itches. Actually, the juncture betwixt my nose and upper lip itched. I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I remember I was saying something, though. Okay, I'll take that out because... I think I just was saying, like, I'm using an appropriate tool for an appropriate job. I want to put this over here. I did. Does this stuff... Nothing burns, does it? I mean, I've never had, like, a furnace put set anything on fire, so... I'm just going to assume that it's all good. You're fine where you are, though. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll keep both of these for digging. Okay. Sunlight check. Yeah, I need to get trees. I need to check this out over here much further. Right now, we're just going to... I was going to dig over just to see if there's like spider stuff in there. But you know what's more important even than that? If we... Well, I do want to dig overward. Overward? That's not even a word. I do want to dig more over this direction. I hear the sound of bones. And I need to be careful. I don't want to be jumped by no bones. Not out here, anyway. I like a, something with a little more padding on it, too. Ha <laughs> ha! Since jumping someone's bones was slash is a euphemism for the act of reproduction. Good old YouTube censors. So, I was just trying to be clever with my words. If I make this a one, two, three square, I'm gonna have to take this over even one more because I wanna be able to, sorry about that torch. Okay, I heard a bonga bonga, so that's probably the sun's come out. Maybe. Well, I don't hear you bouncing around like you're really hurt, so let's go double check. Yeah, we're still fine. Okay, but down here though, let's see. That's one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. okay. So if we go over that way, we would come over here, and let's take it downward from here. And we're going to see if we can find a bit of iron. Well, we're just going to start this before the torch. Not the torch. I'm not digging with a torch before my pick wears out. So we're not going far. It's just to show that this is where I'm going to start mining. And if we're stopping because I'm going to go to the uh, Because I'm going to start with myself. Oh, I put all the picks away. Okay. Alrighty. Good. Good. Thank you. You know what? Well, I'll hang on to that because we're just going to pitch it. Okay, I hear it, but I can't see it. There has got to be danger stuff underneath here in this direction. Underneath this sort of stuff underneath here. Underneath this sort of stuff underneath here. I hope you know what I'm trying to say, because I'm having difficulty saying it. Okay, I'm sorry, sheeps. I don't have iron. I can't do this gently. But I need wool. Okay, I am again very sorry. Okay, I need to put that there to make sure I, I've got all the wool. One more. I'm very sorry. Give me. Okay, back. Hi, buddy. First, I gotta make sure I'm not going to get lost. 
I don't know where the home, where my home was. Hi, buddy. Don't follow me. Wasn't it up around? Didn't I? Okay. Well. <laughs> I would like to thank you for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is greatly appreciated. Again, as I have said, I enjoy playing games like this to no end. And it is very cool that people out there, such as yourself, uh, seem to enjoy watching. Hopefully at least half as much. A very good thing. Oh, this is just danger up here. So, we will continue on this world before too much longer. I promise you that. But until that time, let me get up to an appropriate place. Oh, come on. There we go. You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.